Hello everybody, Luke Schulte, Fiddle Grounds for Bex Hybrids, and I'm at the London PFR site today and happen to, to notice a pretty cool observation within our uh, starter fertilizer study. So in this study, we're evaluating two by two, so a lot of nutrition versus in furrow. Uh, significantly less nutrition, but very efficiently because we're kind of baptizing that seed in it. So we're now three months removed from planning this study because we're later July and this study was planned on April 14th, and yet we're still seeing some differences, developmental differences. The results are still to be seen, obviously, at the end of the year. But here's how we know there's a developmental advantage in that two by two application or that supply of concentrated nitrogen and sulfur safety in a two by two application. I'll first though point out the difference in how we know. These are the tassels or specifically the anthers of the infra only application. And as you notice, as I point my camera up there, the vast majority or at least 60 to 70 percent of those anthers that contain the pollen are still to be shed in the infra only treatment. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. But then when I move right over to the next row, 30 inches over, and I concentrate on that tassel, this is where we had two by two. So we did not have in furrow, but we had two by two. We had 60 pounds of nitrogen. We had a little bit of sulfur in this application. But you can see the majority of those anthers have actually shed. That pollen has pretty well, uh, pollination has pretty well commenced. And this is something we've seen all year long, particularly this year, because this year, you know, we had a, a rather cool growing season. Crop maturation or development is kind of suppressed due to the cool temperatures throughout May, throughout June, and yet we can still see, a, at least developmentally, an advantage to that nitrogen and sulfur application concentrated in a two by two application right beside the row. So just something to consider, look for the results this fall, but perhaps something to consider if uh, you know, you're thinking about perhaps trading planters, upgrading planters, making some planter um, uh, adjustments, something to keep in mind. Certainly, we don't uh, see e either of these applications paying every year as, as many inputs in agriculture do not. However, we do typically see a, a pretty consistent benefit when we can supply some nutrition, a significant amount of nutrition, I should say, in a two by two application safely further away from the seed, particularly with nitrogen and sulfur, so we can keep that photosynthetic factory running. And I expect this corn to be a little drier at harvest where we've got that concentrated source of nitrogen and sulfur as opposed to just that in furrow application. But just something to keep in mind, stay tuned for the results and something to maybe consider if you're thinking about making some planter adjustments and planter upgrades. Thanks for tuning in, have a great day.